January and February, you want to start thinking about what seeds you're going to start in your garden. Now, if you're like me, you've probably gone to the nursery and you wanted to buy a bell pepper seed pack and a jalapeno seed pack, and you probably didn't plant all those seeds. So if you have leftover seeds, you want to have stored those in a dry, cool location, such as a refrigerator, um, as we've done here. And you probably are not sure whether these seeds will germinate next year or not. So what we're going to do is test these seeds. Now oftentimes you'll find there is a date on the seed packs, such as this is December 31st of 2015. But this seed pack has no date on it. So we're not sure if this is from last year or some previous years. And what you want to do to check the germination is simply get some paper towels. We're going to wet these paper towels here and just wring those out a little bit. Kind of open them back up here. So now that you have your wet paper towels, you're going to simply place 10 seeds down the middle of this. There's nine. Need one more. 10 seeds. And simply just fold this over. Make sure you've got good contact with the wet paper towel and the seeds. Fold those up so they stay nice and wet. And you want to make sure that you write either on your baggie or on a label. If you do it on a label, it's kind of nice because then you can use this label when you plant up your seeds later on. We want to make sure that we write what kind of plant we are growing. In this case, we are testing summer squash. And the date is January 20th of 16. We're going to put this in our plastic baggie with our label. And you want to make sure to seal that up tightly and press out some of the air. So for this situation, in this test, we're going to let this set for about a week. Um, you can often look at your seed pack and it'll give you an idea of how long it'll take to germinate. For these squash, it says it recommends four to ten days, but you might want to check those periodically. And it doesn't hurt to check it daily. You just want to make sure that you seal it every time so that we maintain the moisture in there. We did this about a week ago. Um, so we're going to check our seeds and see which ones have germinated. So here you can see we have ten seeds and it looks like one, two, three seeds have germinated. So if we figure three out of the 10 seeds have germinated, we can assume that if we planted this seed packet, we would have about a 30% germination rate. Now this is kind of low. So in this situation, it would be best to go ahead and buy new squash seeds. If you did want to plant these, it would be best to go ahead and plant these up because you can see here that there is a root already beginning to grow. So you would just gently poke a hole in the soil and put this in there and very gingerly put soil around it. Now there is another test that you can do also and that's called the water test. So here we have again some more squash seeds that we want to test. We put about 20 in here um, and we're just going to fill this up with water. So you might just tap them to make sure any air bubbles that are on the outside of the seeds come off. Um, and we're going to let this set for about 15 minutes and come back and check them. So now we've let these set for about 15 minutes. And if you look of the 20 seeds, there's about, there's five that have sunk to the bottom. And what this tells us is that five seeds are still potentially viable. It's the ones that sink that we feel will potentially germinate. Um, the ones that are floating, the seed coat has broken. And so air has permeated into that seed and potentially dried out the embryo. So the ones that are floating are the bad seeds. The ones that sink are the good seeds. Now, this test is a little bit quicker than the paper towel test. However, it doesn't really give you as accurate of a result. Um, in this particular situation, we had five seeds that sunk. So five divided by a total of 20 seeds gives us about a 25% germination rate. The reason why this test is not quite as accurate is because we are not actually germinating any seeds. We are just looking at the physical condition of those seeds. Now, in this paper towel test, we have actually germinated three of the 10 seeds. And so this has given us the result, 30% germination rate. 
So these are both low germination rates, which means we need to probably go buy new seeds um, if we want to grow squash plants this year. And I always like a good excuse to go buy new seeds, and I probably will pick up a few extra also. We hope you enjoyed this video. It's part of our Oklahoma Gardening YouTube channel. You can also find even more videos on our OK Gardening Classics YouTube channel. And join us on social media for great gardening tips, photos, and discussion.